Hey tech freaks from across the world. Welcome to my channel Tech Store. Before starting to watch this video, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. Do not forget to like, share and comment our videos. Thank you so much guys. Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing the latest Acer Aspire 3. This is the 2022 edition that we are going to have it uh, displayed in this particular video. We have it hands on with us. And uh, if you are planning to buy this laptop, this is the video you must watch. So let's do it. So it might have uh, Intel Core i3, Core i5, Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, it might have a dual core. They will all look the same. The silver variant is what we are reviewing today and we will be opening this entire laptop up for you to know how to upgrade the RAM, put a hard drive, SSD and everything that you would want to know about this particular Acer Aspire 3 A315 series of laptops. So on the top here, uh, it's a polycarbonate body, no metal whatsoever. The entire uh, top here is having a silver matte finish. And uh, once you open, you have two-sided nano bezel, you have a dual array microphone, you have a centered web camera, there is no privacy shutter whatsoever. It's got a full HD 1080p uh, normal TN panel screen. The screen quality is not at all good if you would ask me. The viewing angles are very bad. The earlier Acer Aspire 3 were all being shipped with the IPS panel. Acer, why did you do this? You have put a TN panel on this particular laptop. This is not fair. This is an advanced SWOT model than the last year and you have done this. We are not happy. And then uh, you have the heat dissipation vent area kept over here just uh, you know covering the screen is covering the heat dissipation vent area even that is not great. So the keyboard is again um, a pathetic uh, Acer keyboard as is always the case been. Uh, the entry level Acer laptops have this uh, very pathetic uh, keyboard. The key travel is very bad. The feedback also is not all that great. The keys are very small. The power button is uh, integrated inside the keyboard itself on the top right corner. And uh, the inner also is having the same silver uh, matte finish. So these are all coming with uh, the 11th generation processor, Core i3 or Core i5 and Ryzen 3 and Ryzen 5 with 3000 as well as with 5000 series processor. The touchpad is a squarish uh, unipad actually, multi-gesture unipad. So on the left here, uh, as you can see the design is uh, having a dual tone, black and silver. You have a charging pin connector over here on the left. You have full ethernet port, gigabit ethernet port, HDMI, two USB 3.0 ports over here. And on the front, uh, you don't have any IOs whatsoever. On the right, uh, you have a power indicator as well as a battery indicator. You have a headphone mic combi jack and a USB 2.0 port. And you have a Kensington lock. Odd little uh, roundish design uh, is seen on the rear. The Aspire is uh, laser etched. You can see the heat dissipation vent area. And uh, the base is having a very nice feel, a very cozy feel. It's got this textured black uh, matte finish and uh, the rudders are also nicely placed. The good thing about the entire laptop I liked was the base here and uh, we will dig deep into this thing and uh, we'll make you understand how to upgrade the RAM, hard drive, SSD, everything that you would want to know. So there's this uh, reset uh, small keyhole that has been given so you can take a pin and you can just press it and the uh, laptop gets reset. The speaker grill is over here left and right so it's not having any front firing speakers. So this is the video taken from the web camera of the Acer Aspire 3 2022 edition and uh, I can say the camera quality is not all that great and the uh, audio is okay but the camera quality would have been much better but at the entry level price point this is what you get. Now let's check the speaker quality of the Acer Aspire 3. So the speakers here are tinny if you would ask me, they are pretty loud but uh, the bass is not all that great. So not a great speaker but at this price point this is what you get. Let's check if the laptop opens with a one hand operation. It does and this is the max, it goes almost up to 145 degrees here. But uh, there is a little bit of stutter when it opens as you can see here. So it is advised you get the hinges calibrated, loosened a little bit so that it opens with one hand operation without any stutter.
first thing first we need to flip the laptop so we need to remove all the screws uh, that are visible here and we also need to remove this particular sticker that Acer has given so they are very clearly mentioned warranty void if removed so you have to remove it very very carefully take a cutter blade like this and uh, very very carefully remove it As you can see it has been removed and uh, keep it on one side and start removing all the screws that exist inside. Now take a prior like this and start protruding on the edges. and it will give away like this very very comfortably this is where the battery is this is the Wi-Fi chip this is a single RAM bay area this is the M.2 SSD speakers over here and the hard disk connector also provided so let's start with the battery first just need to remove this small tape and need to remove all the screws and uh, the battery will come out just need to remove this notch connector, battery connector, and the battery will be out. So it's got a 41.0 watt hour battery. The power rating is 11.55 volts and 3550 mAh. And uh, if you want to replace uh, this particular battery, you need to buy a AP19B5K battery like this. Once you have it in hand, you can just take this battery and replace it. Say if you only want to replace the battery. Let's keep it aside. Now you can also put a hard drive, uh, fortunately Acer gives this particular connector along with this particular laptop. Any Aspire 3 it may be, the connector will be there. You can take a 2.5 uh, inches SATA hard drive or SSD up to 2 terabyte and you can install that particular hard drive. I'll show you how to do that. Remove this entire metal connector on which the hard disk has to be installed. You now need to identify screws for this particular part, it does not come along with the laptop. So none of the screws on the motherboard uh, can be fitted onto this particular thing. So you need to source screws so that we can put them inside. We have some screws at hand, we'll just put them and uh, you can also source it. So you need to identify these kind of screws as you can see over here and uh, you need to put them onto the hard disk frame. And then you need to put this connector onto the hard disk. And then fit all the screws. And the hard disk is fitted here. So coming to the part where the RAM is, uh, you need to take a 4 GB or 8 GB or 16 GB DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM. It might be a Core i3, Core i5 or a Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 3. You need to take a 3200 megahertz RAM only. Unfortunately, one RAM is already soldered onto the motherboard. So you can only upgrade to another 16 GB. That is total 20 GB is the max upgrade capacity of this laptop. So just take this RAM and uh, install it like this and press it from the top and the RAM is fitted. So very nicely designed inners of the Acer Aspire 3. Although we would have expected two RAM slots, but that's okay. Now coming to the part where uh, the SSD is, say this laptop comes with the SSD, then this is where the SSD will be installed. Otherwise, if it comes with installed hard drive only, you need to put a SSD. Now it comes by default with the M.2 NVMe SSD, that is a very good thing, 2.6GB and even the 512GB variants come with the M.2 NVMe. In a scenario it doesn't, then you just need to take a similar M.2 NVMe 2280 form factor SSD and you need to put this inside and put the screw back on. And this is the CMOS cell over here. So if your uh, laptop's time and date is not matching, you need to remove this particular notch over here and the CMOS cell can be replaced very comfortably. The speakers are very easily replaceable. There are two connectors, one over here, one over here. So either of the speakers if are not working, just need to remove this connector and uh, the speaker can be removed very very comfortably just like this so if you have to remove the speaker uh, this is the way to do it even the same ditto on the left side 
So this is the VGA connector, the display cable connector over here. And uh, this is the touchpad connector. This is the keyboard connector. In a scenario, your keyboard is not working. You just want to disconnect and work. Then you can just remove this notch here and the keyboard connector can be removed. This is the hard drive connector. We've already shown it to you. This is the backlit connector. In a scenario, your laptop comes with backlit. This is where it will be connected to the power supply for the backlit. Right now, this particular model does not have a backlit that we are reviewing today. This is the daughter board, uh, the USB part of it. The headphone mic combi as well as a USB is over here. This is the Wi-Fi chip. So you want to replace the Wi-Fi chip. Just need to remove it and uh, install it with another Wi-Fi chip. If you want to remove the fan, you just need to remove one and two, these two screws and this one connector and the fan can be removed and replaced. Now let's put it back. Let's start with the battery. Put the case back like this. Start pressing. There will be crackling sound all through. That's absolutely okay. It's a flower bracket arrangement, so it has to make this kind of noise. So this, my friends, was a video showcasing the Acer Aspire 3 2022 edition laptops. And uh, the webcam quality is not all that great. It could have been better. The screen quality is absolutely pathetic. If you'd ask me, it has got a TN panel screen with very, very bad viewing angles. And uh, the keyboard quality also could have been better. But what is good about this laptop is the upgradability that it has. You can put additional hard drive. You can put a SSD. There's only one SSD slot. It comes along with a hard disk connector and uh, the speaker quality is good but it is tinny it's pretty loud but does not have a lot of bass in it and uh, the touchpad is pretty good the variant score i3 core i5 the performance will depend on that so i'll not go into the performance but it's a good buy in the given price range of around 30 to 35 thousand rupees here in india it might be a dual core or a celeron they will all look the same and the same process will be followed for upgradation and disassembly the battery backup is approximately around four to five hours on this particular laptop the price range of these laptops is from 30,000 up to 50,000 rupees, the Acer Aspire 3. The higher end Acer Aspire 3s are coming with backlits also, which are with a 512 GB SSD and a hard drive and a Core i5 processor. They are coming with a backlit keyboard. So before buying, just ask your vendor if it, is a, it has a back, backlit keyboard or not. Hope you liked the video guys. Uh, Leave us some suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us.